First, log into your Google account on Safari and navigate to Google Classroom. Locate the background removal project. You'll need to download or copy and paste the images. Go to the Creative Cloud logo and make sure you're logged in with your Google account. Always select Early College and Career Education to be sure your subscription is correct. Open Photoshop using the Creative Cloud app. Once Photoshop opens, close the pop-up window and select New File. Choose the category for print and the size letter. Change the orientation to landscape and type your name plus background, which is the name of the assignment, and then click Create. I've selected the Move tool, as that will be the main tool we want to use, and increase the size of my screen. Now we want to copy and paste each of the images by right-clicking or holding the Control button and clicking on the image. Select Copy Image, and then press Command-V, as in Victor. Repeat this for all three images. Right-click, Copy Image, return to Photoshop, Command V, go back to Safari, select the next image, control click or right click, copy image, return to Photoshop, and Command V again. Once you have all three images, I would suggest looking around to make sure you understand the panels, expand your history panel so you can see the steps. Make the background invisible by clicking on the eyeball in the Layers panel. For the Apple, you can simply press the Remove Background button and the white space will disappear. For the cars, we're going to use a different tool. The toolbars are on the left. When you hover on a tool, it'll tell you the name and show you a short video about how to use it. Multiple tools can be listed together, and if you click and hold, you'll find the Object Selection tool. Use that to select one single car. Then you can either right click on the selection and choose layer via copy, or use the keyboard shortcut Command J, as in Jason, to layer via copy. That will make a copy of what you have selected, in this case the car, on top of the original photo. The original photo will make invisible so we can see our selected car and use the move tool to increase the size or scale. Next, we will remove the background from the kitten. For this, we can use the select subject button. Once you've selected the subject, choose the select and mask option so that we can refine hair. This will adjust the edge of the cat then I'm going to scroll to the bottom of these options and expand my output selection to change it to be new layer instead of selection. This will automate the step we did with the car, making the original photo invisible. The last step I want to do is arrange the images together and then add a background and some words. As you can see with the apple, there's a black mask that's attached that's obscuring the background. You can drag the layers up and down in the Layers panel to adjust the order to bring things forward or backwards. You can make quick copies by holding the Option button on the keyboard 
or by pressing Command-J to layer via copy. Go back steps in the history panel when you make a mistake. And in this case, I'm going to apply this layer mask to make it permanent. Then I can make some copies. Next, you want to find a suitable background. That's up to you. It, background can be any image. Click on the preview. And then control or right click on the image, copy image, return to Photoshop. Command V. For the background, I'm going to expand the image and scale it up large enough to fill the entire frame. And since I want this one to go all the way to the back, I'm going to go to Layer, Arrange, and Send to Back. So it's all the way at the bottom. Arrange your pieces of your collage creatively. You can edit them and adjust them in any way you figure out how to use. You can make copies. You could add additional images from the internet if you choose. You will add your name and a title. The title can be anything you choose, school appropriate, or it can be the name of the assignment. Make sure you save your work. Save it in the Creative Cloud. Now is a good time to experiment. If you have an idea and you don't know how to do it, you can ask me. To add your name, use the type tool, which is a capital T. Click anywhere, type your name, and then click the check mark at the top. And then you can adjust the color or the font. You can change the size quickly using the move tool. Double click to type more words. You can also change the size in the options bar. Make sure you save your work. Always save your work in the Creative Cloud folder. Not downloads, not documents, not desktop. Use the Creative Cloud folder so your work will be synced. In order to turn in your work, you need to export. We're going to use export and then quick export as PNG. Double check your title and the location. Upload the PNG to the assignment in Google Classroom 